What happens to your soul when you leave this world with estrangement with living family members? This is a question I often get when I'm doing readings um, because so often life is messy and we don't always have, you know, peaceful, easy relationships. A lot of times that's the whole point. Our life is like a play and we all play different roles in each other's plays and we wear these different masks and we're really just playing out our parts that we signed up for before we were born. So we create these soul contracts and there are certain lessons that we need to learn and go through. So whether we're teaching them or on the receiving end, learning them, um, either way, we are we are carrying out what we need um, in order to grow and evolve. And so when we cross over, we pick up where we leave off. And so we have to do a life review at some point. And we sit down with our trusted group of um, soul, soul guides, our council made up of different um, souls that help us do an honest um, self-inquiry where we take inventory of our lives and our choices. And we are reminded um, of what we originally agreed to in that soul contract by our council of guides, okay? And at that point, we play judge and jury, okay? We take full accountability for everything that happened, positive, maybe negative, um, and anywhere in between. When we leave this world with that estrangement, Oftentimes, so we wake up and it's the living who's still unresolved because may, maybe the living um, survivors don't have full clarity or remembrance of that agreement, that soul contract. And so they're carrying some of the hard feelings. But when I do readings, the spirits come through and they often, you know, take ownership where they couldn't in life. They are in their higher self being the bigger person owning their part in the deal. So the best way I can um, really lay this out is an example I had with a reading I did. So I had a woman and her mom came through right away, apologizing for being, you know, hard on her in life. She showed me tough love. And the mom was being fully accountable and fully aware of how her hurtful words and actions or inactions scarred and hurt her daughter throughout this this woman's entire life. It was very sincere. The spirits that come forward are the ones who have good intentions. So even if this woman was somewhat of a witch in life, her higher self was coming through with the pure intention of making things right with her daughter. Well, this client of mine, this woman could not wrap her mind around the fact that her mom was sincere or that her mom was worthy of forgiveness. And I had to explain soul contracts. Her guides came through helping her to understand that she signed up for that. It wasn't happening to her. It was happening for her in this lifetime. So she chose this mother to show her contrast, right? They were learning and teaching each other um, in this relationship. And, you know, her mom acknowledged by having that experience of tough love and knowing what she didn't want, she in turn could choose to do the opposite when she had her own children, which she did. She took that as good, important information on what not to do and how not to be as a mother and as a human being. Her mom acknowledged what a fantastic job this woman has done. You know, again, this woman really had to sit with this and I'm not sure where she's at with it today, but hopefully it brought her the awareness and the comfort knowing that her mother was proud of her and she, by showing up and living her life in a different way, in a more loving, kind, in a positive light, that she is teaching her mother from the other side. She is showing her mother what it looks like to be your best self. So anyways, nothing falls away, okay? So when we leave this world with estrangement from living family members, the best thing we can do is forgive them, forgive the situation and and ask what was this there to teach me and take the gifts out of that. And then when we cross over, we will reunite with them and we will have a big laugh acknowledging, you know, the what a full messy journey it was, but how much we spiritually grow.